Hello all. Today we are going to discuss FMEA technique of risk management of software testing and quality assurance. So what is FMEA technique is? It is a failure mode and effect analysis technique. Also we are calling that as a risk management technique. Now this method can also be used very effectively in software testing practice as well. Casual analysis procedure in FMEA would minimize the impact of business risk associated with these software defects. The proactive analysis approach of the method will unearth the potential defects very early in development life cycle. In this way, FMEA technique will help in strategically decision making in the software testing process in general and assist designing and managing the test cases in particular. Mostly it is used by the upper management or stakeholders. In practice the tester get the little insight into this technique. But now the trend is changing and we can say that if the tester understood this concept properly then they can drive their thought process of writing the test cases to one level up by utilizing this technique as well. And it understands the business, derive the high level test scenarios based on the business and management interest. Prioritize the test cases, it decides the what to test and what to defer at any phase. Also, they understand the stakeholders' goal of testing the application and many more thoughts we can put in this technique. Now, the risk analysis is a crucial aspect of the test management and the question arises over here that what is risk analysis and why it is important. To understand this, it is vital to understand what is risk first. So we can say that there are the two attributes which risk has. One is the probability and another one is the impact. Now the probability means the chances of the particular risk to occur and impact means we can say it ex extent of the effect of the risk. So we have considered the every potential risk aspect the Risk avoiding all the difficulties, all the risk. So the test strategy will address some elements basically during the test planning stage. If you observe over here that we are in the planning as the figure is showing to avoid the risk. So the elements for this test strategy are like test or retest rules. Priority planning of tests, planning the test data sets, planning the test simulators or test program or stuffs on drivers and planning the test environments. Now the use of this FMEA method or technique which requires to break the software application processes into the manageable smaller sub processes that maps into the user defined features, features like the requirements and unable to forecast the cause and effect of all potential failures. Potential failures that is defects. The failures referring here are in terms of the overall system usage and therefore as per the user's perspective as well. This module can be done after understanding the complete requirement of that mode. Like in other words we can say after the requirement analysis phase in the classical development life cycle model as well. So that the one can predict the failures using the specific domain analysis. So the other emphasis is on doing the analysis prior to actual failure and planning for the fixes prior to the failure. So failure modes, let us consider one example over here. A simple example of the banking application which has the four features. We are withdrawing the money, we can deposit money, we can apply for the loan and 
another one feature as the fixed deposit. So risk analysis team is formed which consists of the bank manager, UAT test manager which representing the end user activities, technical architect, test architect, network administrator and the project manager. Now the, after a series of brainstorming sessions, the team came up with some sort of following risk which they are discussing in this technique. So the complex, uh, complex business logic in case of calculating interest rate for the home loan, the system fails at the 200 concurrent users, the system fails to handle documents which are more than 6 MB. Let's try to calculate the severity priority and likelihood this identified risk. So for more detail you can refer the following given link over here for the FMEA checklist. So defining the values or the scaling some uh, uh, the factors so we can define we can define some values on some certain factors for this technique. So these are severity of impact, probability of occurrence and likelihood detection. So to quantify the risk, we need to classify each one of these into some category and should scale them. So the classification and scaling of each of them should be like that. Ki we are giving the description. For example, consider that for the severity impact, the elements that the factors that we can consider and we can scale them like the description of the element, class of that element and how we are scaling to that element is. For example, we can say that the partial loss of functionality, we can classify this term into the minimum and the scale to that as the 2. Maybe the cosmetic or travel, maybe it, it can be comes into the negligible as you are implementing this code so that's why the travel and cosmetics loss of the functionality without work around maybe the class is a critical and we are scaling them to the four loss of the data hardware or safety issues class into the catastrophic and you can scale them as the fine so likewise we have to scale some sort of factors into the risk manager risk management Next one as the probability of the occurrences of the cause. We can describe description, class and scale. Negligible loss of the system value. The class of that may be not likely and you can scale for that as the one. Whereas unacceptable loss of the system value, we can scale them as the high likely for the four value. And complete loss of the system definitely class and we can scale them as the 5. So we can measure these factors by scaling to that. So the formula to cal calculate these risk priority numbers as S into P into L. Severity of impact, probability of occurrence and likelihood of the detection. Thank you.